Nolan is a most banned hero. He's the most broken hero right now, even deadlier in solo rank, and especially if the user knows what he's doing. I went to make some tea after banning a hero, and I assumed we will either ban Nolan or pick him. So when I came back and I saw they got Nolan, I already knew it was gonna be a tough match. They also picked Mathilda, which is another broken hero in the current meta. Please pick a hero. We already gonna EXP, jungler and mage, and S5 seemed to play roamer, so there was only one role left, and that was the marksman role. With their composition, it was very clear to me that they will have a massive advantage in the early to mid game. I had to think of a marksman that could completely solo turn the tide of battle in the late game, even if my teammates are quite inexperienced. Irithyll? She is definitely one of the best in the current meta, but she needs to get too close to deal damage. If my teammates are not following through, they can just delete me instantly. Cloth? He could easily maneuver the opponents, but he lacks the damage output to really carry the game in solo rank. Out of all these marksmen, I felt there was only one marksman who could really make the difference in this match. And it is no one other than Ixia. Like I said in my previous Ixia videos, with her in the team, there's always a chance to make that ultimate comeback. Her ult has the ability to accomplish that. In the early game, I like playing quite aggressively with Ixia, because she has a lot of sustains and usually she wins the blows exchange in the early game. Lately I've been getting mashed up with some very interesting roamers, and you know what I usually say, a good roamer makes everything so smooth, but a bad one will make you want to touch some grass. Yep. Okay. The more they look down on me, the more motivated I get. A small victory, but a much needed one, because our jungler and mage were also struggling. The tray is fine by me, because in theory, Ixia scales better than Kerry. But the opponents keep getting the turtle, and their Nolan is getting super fed. Take a dirt now. This is a stick up. We're behind in gold. We were 1.6 gold behind, already at 3 minute mark. And the difference would have been even bigger if it wasn't because I was farming pretty decently so far. The funny thing is that, because our mage, jungler and exp were over committing multiple times, their Nolan decided to go for them, instead of rotating to this lane. But soon he will definitely start ganking my lane, but until then, I should try to farm as much as possible. I keep hanging around this bush, because it will give me vision when their mage or jungler comes to gank my lane. This should have been the roamer's job, but it is what it is. Our jungler needs help, and Bellary still has ult, we have a chance to do this. But unfortunately our tank is a bit too inexperienced. Gas. 
I really need our tank to provide vision. Nolan is already godlike. To be honest, I knew he would have an easy time in the early game, but I didn't expect that it would be to this extent. I had to try my best to keep my farm competitive, or we're just gonna get snowballed before we even reach the late game. I had no idea where Nolan and their tank were, so I had to stay here for vision. This was a good example of what could happen if they get too distracted with my allies and I can hold them all when they stick like that. Gather up the turtle. Gather up the turtle. I know Nolan is taking the turtle, but going by myself will be like serving myself on a silver platter to him. This was inevitable. Once he's behind your nuts, there's not much Ixia can do about it. But once I get win on nature and a few more core items, I shall be able to easily outdamage him. Actually, I managed to farm better than him, despite him having a 9 to 1 KDA. This way farming is way more important in the early game for marksmen than going around and trying to get kills. Our Dyrof is in a good position, maybe he can finish off Nolan. Even the brightest man today has to recognize my ingenuity. I'm not gonna say anything else about Belleric, because he's probably just inexperienced. Gadget to tinker with. I wonder if he truly used the word friend in his native language, or just that the auto translation in Mobile Legends is user friendly. Mathilda one shot at Alucard and she can probably do the same to all of us except our tank. This is how scary she is when she goes full damage build. I made a video about it already, so if you are interested, you can go check it out after this. I needed to wait for the right timing to use my ult. I had to be really patient and wait until they got distracted with my allies. If I messed up the timing, we'll have 0% chance of winning the team fight. Attack. 
only got Nolan, but that's more than good enough. He's the main threat. They were all still dead, so I still had time to destroy the turret. No one was still down. This was our golden chance to take the Lord. If they're all up and we clash face to face, they will probably still overwhelm us with their team composition. Vision was still an issue, so I had to stay incognito until I saw most of them. This is why Vision is so important especially in the late game. What a tough match. There was only one way we'll win this, and that will be a miracle ult. Gather up the Lord! Okay, gather up the Lord! Request even that smallest speck of sand can become a sandstorm. Request battle! Launch attack! Things were definitely looking dire. I never expected that I could turn my allies' mispositioning into an advantage. Look at Alucard's positioning. He's clearly out of position. And so they took that bait. That just gave me a very clear image of what I should do next to pull that miracle old again. Remember. Patience, can you see all too soon? This might be the moment. 
Maybe not. Even the brightest minds of Eridicio have to recognize my... It already comes down to one team fight, one ult. At this point, it's very clear who is the one dishing most of the damage. Usually in the late game, you want to give it to your marksman if he's doing pretty decently. This was it. All we had to do was push me together. I end this right there and there. My it's gonna be tricky because my Thilda can one shot me. But what I could have done was to sell the win of nature and buy a magic resistant item. But it didn't really occur to me at that time. I will take this as a lesson. So hopefully if a situation like this happens again in the future, I will react faster. Nolan runs out of energy extremely fast without the blue buff, so if we could take it away from him, that would have been huge. Team was not helping, so I had to abandon that plan and just go with the team. Game is over, let's get one more kill. I consider Ixia really high in the marksman tier list because of her ability to single-handedly turn the table. As long as you keep farming well, there will always be a decent chance to make a comeback in the late game. Other marksmen also have the potential, but I believe nobody can do it better than Ixia. Anyway, this was a pretty fun match, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and that's all for now, see ya.